Hey guys, I'm back. I bought a uh, toilet bidet, also known as the Tushy Offline. This is an uh, unboxing and review. Also, how-to video as well, how to set it up. Alright, let's unbox it. Well, as you can see, this is what came out of the box. And uh, let's open it up. Well, here it is. This is the bamboo model. And it's the wrong one because I actually ordered that one. The silver. Not that. Well, I guess I will suck it up because I've already heard from multiple sources if this breaks, they charge you like 65 bucks shipping to ship it back to them. I paid $106 Canadian to have it shipped and paid for to Canada. And I'm not dealing with it. So this is what was in the box. Let's see what else is in the box. Comes with the two feet flexible hose. So that's good. Comes with your tape and everything you should need. I have some prior plumbing experience, so this should only take 10 minutes. Anyone that doesn't, probably take you about 15, 20 minutes, but it shouldn't be that hard. Here's the backside, here's the nozzle, and here is inside um, I'm gonna see if I can turn my light on so here's the back side of it here's a nozzle wash here's the inside of it I'm gonna turn my light on here so you can see the inside see that that's just plastic all of it's just plastic and this knob is wood but it is really stiff to turn like as you can tell so we'll see how long this product lasts I, I give it four months to six months and if it breaks I'll just buy a more expensive one that's actually made for the toilet but this was just a uh, one I bought to see if I like it it was cheaper so now we go to the installation process one flat head screwdriver pliers and that should be all you need all right we're in my bathroom here here's my older toilet it's probably from when the building was built 1988 1989 it's the original toilet i already asked my landlord a long time ago it's a water sucker so yeah they're not interested in even going to low flow toilets so but uh let's get on with it I'm going to just zoom in here. Sorry for the balance. But I'm using the cell phone holder on the top, on the back of my towel rack. So, you just go and pop these off here. And now, You just unscrew those, remove your toilet seat, and put the Toshi underneath, and we'll see what happens. So I'll do that, and I'll come back. I lined up the holes, and I try to line up that one better, and we'll see what the toilet seat looks like after. All right, guys, I'm back. I installed it. I washed my hands like 30 times before I touched the phone. Um, what I've noticed already is I already watched some other reviews. And people are saying that little nose it goes up and down and back and forth so to not have it at the back of the room have some space so it's adjusting the other thing is which i just thought of you will actually have to sit on the toilet and use it to see where the nozzle even using that 
to see if, if this is too far back or too far forward. So you don't have to actually adjust it to your liking. So it works for you or other guests. So that's what it looks like. It's just on. And my toilet seat is old as well. So I have the long bolts. Some people were complaining that their bolts were too short. So they had to go to the hardware store and buy longer ones. I just used my stock ones and it worked. So it's not that tight. I just have it, you know, snug up so it doesn't move around. Um, as for the leaning process, I've seen it gives a little bit of a lean. I wonder if this is a newer model where they made the back skinnier than the previous models because I don't have that much tilt. I have some, but some videos, it's just really mean. There's like a hole right here. Like you can put your finger in it on some videos. So yeah, it seats pretty well. So I'm going to go to the hookup process and then I'll show you how to do that now. Alrighty. There you go. Now I'm shutting it off. I'm an idiot. Here's the thing. If you live in an apartment like me, be careful because if that thing breaks, you're screwed. You have to have the whole apartment water shut off and if there's like 40 people in your apartment like me, they're not going to be happy with you. So if it starts dribbling, my suggestion to you is back it off and if it stops dribbling, you know, dripping, dribbling, whatever you want to call it, stop. Don't continue because it's, if it's your own house and you can go down and shut off the main water valve, if you're in an apartment or a condo, you're out of luck. And it's going to be embarrassing when, you know, you say, oh, I installed, I was installing a toilet bidet and they're going to be not too impressed with you. So mine started hissing. So when I reopen it, I hope I don't have issues. But let's redo this again. Flush it. Make sure all the water's out of the tank. As much as you can get. There we go. So I'm going to take that off and put it back on and we'll give her a test. I'm back. Um, I just got the flex connected from the wall to the tank. Just, just go get this as well because it doesn't come in the kit unless you request it. Go down to your local hardware store and pick it up. Because if you have what I have, a plastic little thing, that thing doesn't budge. So pick yourselves up one of these. Uh, my valve doesn't shut it off all the way, so it leaks. So I guess it's going to be interesting to see what it's like when I turn it back on. Also, I moved the toilet seat just a bit. Um, there's rubbers, these things, that go underneath of here. So I'm going to take this off after, and I'll put the rubbers underneath here so it doesn't slide. So... I had to go to the hardware store twice. There's a line that's not a flex that I had to replace. There's a new line that's a flex. That's a smaller one. I got a bigger one and it was too long and it wouldn't work. But my suggestion to you guys, turn the light on here. Did you see a little bit of tape? Put some um, white uh, tape sealant on it. You know, it comes with some tape sealant. Same with that. Um, I got to tighten some clamps. Make sure you tighten all your clamps so you don't have water leaking. Uh, don't over tighten it. And last but least, center your toilet lid. You're going to have to play around with it to see where you want it. Um, I'm still not done, but it's still it's installed. And uh, I will have to get underneath the toilet there and tighten uh, the thread so I see a little bit of water there. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you have no leaks. As I do, I have one or two or who knows. Um, so I'm going to get under there after and just give everything a tight snug up. Don't over tighten it because it will snap. It's only plastic. Okay, it, it says it takes 10 minutes. Yeah, if you have the right line, it will take 10 minutes. 
If you have a line like that and you have to go to a hardware store and get one, it won't, depending how far you live away from a hardware store. But other than that, uh, the instructions in the box are right there. They're pretty uh, straightforward. And uh, I found it easier. I literally just lay on my floor and go in right underneath. And I know some people, oh, gross, you, but have a shower later, put your clothes in the washer. Call it a day. So, what also I did is, there's a button here, it moves up, make sure that doesn't hit the back of the rim, as mine doesn't, um, like I said, I have to adjust it to see where I need it, it comes with an extra cap for that, and just, since it's clean, make sure it's tight, and, so I guess it's never been used, um, other than that, let's see if it works. It's on the off. Let's see the nozzle wa nozzle wash. Oops, there we go. So you can see the water coming right down it. And it clicks. Here's the thing. What I'm worried about. And I'm sorry for switching from light to non-light, but it just makes it easier for you guys to see. This is all plastic inside. There's no copper, there's no, um, you know, metal tubes, and it's plastic. So, you know, if that starts leaking when you're away and you're home and you're gone, you're going to have water coming down. Because this has water all the time because it's connected. I tried to find a T so I could maybe T this off. And then put this to the T and then shut it off. But I couldn't find it. My hardware store didn't have anything. So I'm still, I'm still going to look around. Um, as for the review, for $106 and I think $0.82, cents, Canadian shipped to me off of an uh, online site. I'm not going to say which one because I'm not advertising. But it is a Toshi um, bidet, as you can see. I just didn't get it from their direct website. It... Uh, does take you to their website when you click the ad, but it was advertised on a different um, social media platform site. That's all I'm going to say. I am not going to hit the spray because I've already seen these spray and I know it works. Um, no, screw it. Let's do it. Holy crap. <laughs> well, that's crazy. But there's my uh, review. Um, unboxing and setup. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, sorry about that. I had other things to do, but uh, uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Yep, definitely didn't take me 10 minutes. It took me like an hour, but it's done. So that's my setting. It's all the way pretty much out. When you actually turn this, turn it slow. Um, I turned a little fast and got a little bit of a shock, turned it down, it works, it works pretty well, but uh, keep your bum all the way back uh, and make sure everything's seated correctly because if not you will have water come out the front and you will have water coming out the sides by your legs. I didn't have that but I could tell even though I seated correctly and, and you know I sealed the toilet seat, that it uh, sprays pretty hard. But it kind of sprays everywhere, like um, on your cheeks and whatnot too. Uh, so, but it works. It's just now you know why Tushy sells those towels. Now I know why, but not needed for me. So I just decided to give you a quick update since I just used it. If you like this video, comment, share, subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up and see you on the next one. Thank you.